What's up guys, Matsicle Films here. Welcome back to another Lego Star Wars review. Today I will review set 75324 Dark Trooper Attack. This is recommended for ages 8 and up. Comes with 166 pieces, which kind of seems overpriced for a $30 set, but it really isn't. And it also comes with four mini figures. Looks pretty cool on the front of the box. You got Mando and Grogu down here. And on the back, you have a bunch of the play features, which I'll show you in today's video, as well as a little scene going on between Luke and the Dark Troopers. So, with that said, let's crack this set open. You have a pair of thumb tabs here. I don't use thumb tabs. I like to use my knife to just get in there, cut in there, and yeah there we go that also works so then you gotta pull it out there we go and pour everything out that is inside here so here we go we have bag one bag two sticker sheet as well as an instruction booklet let's get to building Alright, so the first minifigure that we get here is Luke Skywalker, and he looks really, really good. You have the printing on the body and the legs. You have the new hood piece. You have the soft cape. You have the green lightsaber. You can also switch up your facial expressions. One is a little bit more serious and then the other one is just smiling and you have a little bit of back printing if you take off this cape and the hood and you grab like a blonde hair piece from your collection you could just have normal return of the jedi luke if you want to do that but on to our next figure our second and final minifigure we actually get three of these guys is the dark trooper and it's the same dark trooper design as we got in the imperial light cruiser and it looks pretty good i really like the dark trooper minifigure this is my second dark trooper attack set so now i have an army of seven of them plus two luke skywalkers and two of the hallways but really nice really like to grow my dark trooper army the minifigure looks pretty cool, you can see. I think they should have maybe made it like a droid, but I guess minifigure form looks pretty good as well. You have the new armor piece, you have the blaster. You actually have some printing on the head as well as on the back. You have some back printing and you can also take off this armor piece to reveal just some more printing which is pretty cool but you can put that back on and yeah so that is the dark trooper onto our build here it is luke skywalker's hallway scene as it is commonly known as and this set is really really good the build even though it is small for 30 dollars i think that with the minifigures that you're getting in this set I think it's a pretty good deal. I think that $20 would have been also a nice price for this set. Maybe strength the build a little bit more. I would say $25 would be good enough. But let's get into all of the play features and details. So right here you have this wall, just a bunch of sticker pieces. Same thing over here. You have this sticker as well as the sticker inside the elevator. You also do have this sticker right here there are a lot of stickers on this set but one play feature that you have with these dark troopers is this right here where you can basically stand your dark trooper and you can pretend that luke skywalker is 
like force pushing him. So that's pretty cool. And you also do have this piece right here. So you can stand Luke Skywalker on here and you could just like pretend that Luke is slashing the dark saber across, I mean the uh, dark trooper across the face, just like that. You could do that. So that is a very fun little play feature or you can grab Luke Skywalker without his lightsaber because with his lightsaber, this play feature doesn't actually work, but you can stand him inside of this elevator and you can spin him just like that. So I find this play feature really, really fun. But yeah, that is that. You can also stand your other dark troopers on here and looks pretty cool. Anyway guys, that is it for this review. Be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel for more LEGO Star Wars reviews just like this one. I will be comparing this set to the 501st Battle Pack and the Trouble on Tatooine in my next video, so stay tuned for that. And yeah, overall, I think that this set is pretty good. I give it a 9 out of 10. Let me know what you think of the set down in the comments below. I don't know if this set's price is going to go up when all the Lego prices go up a little bit, but if it does go up to like $35, I would say that this set will kind of be overpriced, but for now, get it while it's $30. It's a pretty good deal. It's a very nice display piece, and yeah. With that said, that is it. Thank you guys for watching. See you all in the next one. Bye.